Hi and hello everyone. What we have seen so far in the semi Markovian queuing system is basically the MG1 model and its finite version that is MG1K model. Okay. Uh, what we have obtained was this equilibrium system size probabilities and waiting time distributions, right, which if you put the service time distribution as exponential would reduce to the corresponding MM1 model as expected. Of course, there are other variations that you can bring in even with respect to that single server model itself, meaning that suppose if you want to add retrial or anything of that sort, impatience, right. So, those kind of things can also be brought in, but you know we are not looking at that. What we will do next uh, is that again it is uh, it is not a very detailed study, but it is an overview study of the same general service, but now we have in the setum graph multi server queues. Okay. If we have multi server queues and general service, we are still retaining the Python process arrivals as far as the arrival process is concerned. Uh, and then we just see how far or whether if we can extend the ideas that we have gained with respect to the single server model in any way. Okay. But if you look at little closely, what you would see is that we are basically starting with a disadvantage in this multi server MG models. Okay. The reason is that these models whether it is MGC or MGCK models, they do not possess the embedded Marco chains that we have used in the case of MM, MG1 model, right. They and here this multi server version of them, they do not possess such an embedded Marco chain in the usual sense. That is so right that is because as you can imagine uh, what can happen at departure points at departure epochs what we had earlier we had uh, at departure epochs you can look at what was the you know system size at the previous departure epoch and in between how many arrivals have come during this one service time was sufficient enough to determine what is the departure uh, system size departure point system size probabilities at this departure epoch right so but in the in multi server case this is not just sufficient that because the number of arrivals during any inter departure period is dependent on more than just the system size uh, at the immediate departure predecessor okay that's because of this multiple server case okay so it poses I mean you have to expand much more in order to capture the you know bring it to your Marco chain basis. So, because of this reason right as you can imagine that uh, what, what might happen that this departure epoch and if you are looking for the next departure epoch right I mean there are multiple servers how many servers are busy which server uh, you know completes the service the next service is completed by which server and during that duration like uh, you know how many arrivals have to uh, have come you have to count but this is not so easy as we are seeing it here right because here the service time distribution is no longer exponential if it is exponential of course you can memory less you can use and then you can get something but here it is a general distribution right so you need to keep track of all the c servers how much time the service is what is the remaining service time which one will you know end first next and so that that number or that duration of the next departure where it is going to happen. Now during that period how many has come? It is to say that it is easy to visualize but the thing is to do it it is not that easy. So that is why we may not be able to get some neat and clean results about the Q length distribution of such systems but certain mean value results are easy to obtain. Okay. 
but there are you know if you put certain restrictions and so on there are multi server systems that do possess some structure to get some kind of results which could be even complete results also it is possible to get but anyway we will look at you know few of them and whatever is we can obtain and we can easily give at this level is what then we will be concentrating on it right so this is what we will do with respect to the multi server mg type queues okay let us take first this mgc queues as we just said that it's not that easy to get the departure point system say distributions but what one can obtain is easily the mean value formulas or the moments of these two quantities could be related in some way okay recall for an mg1 model we had this expression right that's what you know we said that the factorial moment of the system size distribution and the ordinary moment of the waiting time distribution were related by this relationship which we call as a generalization of little's law okay now what we can do for an mgc model we can obtain a line version of this relationship remember this is for the system right and since there was a single server right so it was very easier you can obtain it for even system of course you can have a line version as well but in case of multi server uh, it's very difficult to get the system version but it's easier to get the line version because you know this you can count like when the next departure are you know how many it leaves behind and so on right so th that's what is we are going to use so we need we can obtain now a q version or the line version of this relationship this is for number in the system now our number in the queue is what then we we'll look at it because in multi server again you have to see which server how many servers are occupied which server will service uh, complete the service at earlier also thing but in queue if you consider as you know that you know it's first come first serve queue so the departure from the queue you are looking at it which means he is getting into the service so the next person will get so you know you can at least you know capturing that is easier so we know that recall that is pi n basically we call it as probability of n in the system just after a departure as departure a poke system size probabilities were given by this expression this is what we have given at that point of time when we started this waiting time distribution itself like we have written down this expression right now this is valid this kind of expression is valid for modified form of M mgc if we consider the quantities in terms of q and not in the system so that means if i call pi and q as n in q just after a departure okay just after a departure if you call this as n so we call it pi and q then you can think along in this way the same way as you thought about this right so when he will leave n in in the queue just after his departure this particular customer's departure right so it is during his wait in time there could have been n arrival would have happened to the queue and hence he will leave behind n right so that's precisely is what you will you will be true if you consider the queue even in mgc case right so the mean queue length at departure points once we know this this is the departure point queue size probabilities and the mean queue length at departure points is basically lq d d is for departure point is basically this quantity right pi n q q means this queue size is what we are looking at here so this is what it is now this is basically you are summing over this quantity right sum over n times this quantity which is again you know interchange of exchange of uh, uh, the integral sign and summation then this will give me the poisson mean which is lambda t which is what you have here so this is basically equal to lambda times w q is what is the mean q length at departure points mean q length not system sizes this q length is what then you are getting it here okay now if i denote the kth factorial moment of 
the departure point q size by this right this is the first moment that we have obtained here right suppose if i call this as kth factorial moment if i call, denote it by this notation that is basically l q of k and the superscript d d denoting the departure point then this quantity which is equal to this quantity by definition right now pi q n i will substitute i will get this with summation of this but what is this quantity in the main case it was simply n times lambda t to the power n e to the power minus lambda t by n factorial but now it is n into n minus 1 into n minus k plus 1 times the pmf of a poisson random variable with parameter lambda t so this summand now is the kth factorial moment of the poisson distribution and this from the properties of this poisson random variable is equal to this quantity one can easily obtain it what is the kth factorial moment of a poisson random variable would be this quantity right so if i plug it here then what you would end up with this right so, this is then you will have this integral 0 to infinity t to the power k f t q type this and then lambda to the power k you will get here. So, this is a special case this is for case equal to 1 case and here this is for any general k. So, what it relates it is basically the relationship that exists between the kth factorial moment of the q size and the kth ordinary moment of line delay or the q delay which is what is what is q ok. So, this is what you get the result for this MGC. So, you see here MGC you can obtain still a little slow type of relationship with respect to q length that is what you know you can easily obtain in this particular case of uh, MGC model. Okay. So, this is the first thing that we are looking at it again we said that you know it is very difficult to get the system size probabilities, but the mean results in this particular case one can give. Of course, is it the only result that is available for MGC model? No, there are other results available, but you know those are all more complex and they are beyond the level of what we have been doing. So, we will just highlight some of the results for some of these multi server model case uh, in the case of an MG type Q that is all we are trying to do. Okay. Next what we will consider is this mg infinity model because we said something when we talked about mm infinity model. So, we will now try to relate that with respect to this mg infinity model. So, we will basically see two results one is the transient distribution for the number of customers in the system at time t the other is the transient distribution for the number of customers who have completed service by time t that is basically the departure counting process. Okay. Suppose if I denote n of t by as the overall system size process y t to be the departure process then the input process x t would be equal to y t plus n t be the input process right or n t equal to x t minus y t is a where x t is the input process right that is the relationship that you have between these three random variables. Now, you are looking at the overall system size probabilities for this mg infinity model right. So, we have Poisson arrival general service time distribution infinite number of servers is what we have in this we are looking at the number in the system. So, which we can condition on the input right if the input up to by time t is this i what is the probability that n of t equal to n is what you are looking at here and what is the probability of this there are i arrivals by time t is basically because arrivals are still Poisson because this is equal to this expression which is the Poisson distribution expression right. So, that is what you are seeing it here this is the Poisson distribution because the arrivals are Poisson process this is the number of arrivals during an interval of length t which is equal to i is given by this expression. Now, this i must be at least n to infinity for this conditioning argument right because 
there cannot be less than n arrivals and the system size being n ok. So, that is what uh, you would see here assuming that you know the system starts at 0 if you want that you know that, that also you can make your assumption ok. So, this is what we are obtaining it. Now, now the probability that a customer who arrives at some time x will still be present at time t is basically this quantity where b denotes our service time cdf right because now we want to compute this quantity right. So, by time t there are i arrivals and out of those there are n we are still uh, there in the system at time t right that is what we want to compute. So, if you want to you know flag a typical customer who arrives at some point x and he will still be present at time t would be equal to this as the probability because where this is the complementary CD, C, CDF of the service time distribution right where this is the service time CDF. Then the probability that then arbitrary one of these customer is still in service ok this is a, for a one customer this is what you have here. Now is basically if I call this as QT is the probability that an arbitrary customer who arrived at time x prior to t still there in the system at time t is what if I call this q t then q t is when that will happen. So, he arrived at time x. So, probability of that is this and conditioning on that ok. So, if he had to be in service at time t so, his service at time t then his service time must be at least t minus x then only he will be there in the system at time t right. So, this is the probability multiplied by this is the probability now this x could be anything between 0 and t. So, this is what is this then the conditional arg argument that you are putting. So, q t is what this, but now what is this quantity arrival at x. So, given that there is an arrival by time t there is one arrival by time t what is the probability that it would have arrived at time x right as you know by the conditional uh, arrival time property of this Poisson process that we have seen earlier this is this arrival could have happened anywhere between 0 to t according to a uniform random variable that is what you know that property is true. So, that means this quantity is simply 1 by t and this quantity is basically this quantity right that is what we have just said who arrives at x will still be present is basically this quantity. So, that is this and probability of arrival at x is, is 1 by t which you can take it out. So, this is what you have here right. So, now like this is what you can now look at uh, the expression here. So, whether you know t minus x or x is one and the same. So, you are ending up here. Now, this is independent of any other arrival. So, because this is for a typical arrival which we are looking at who, uh, the customer who arrived at time t time x he is still there in the system at time t is this and this is the same for all the arrivals. Therefore, by the binomial law right if there are i arrivals have happened and n of them happens to be in the system. So, then that probability would be given by I choose n time uh, q t to the power n and 1 minus q t to the power i minus n for n from 0 to i is what then you will get as the distribution. Now, once I get this expression now I can plug it in this expression right I will get this now this is mere simplification. Now, if I simplify this right I will take appropriate terms outside I will leave out with this summation. Now, this is again an exponential series. So, once I plug it there then I will arrive at this expression which tells me that the number in the system is, is basically a Poisson distributed random variable, but with now is the mean is lambda q t times t where q t is basically this quantity right it is it is not just at t. So, it is basically a fully non-homogeneous Poisson is what then you are encountering here lambda q t times t where remember 
QT is given by this expression which is basically 0 to T the whole process is dependent on 0 to T is what then you will get here right. So, this is the number in the system that you have obtained. So, now you have seen here the number in the system right the number in the system is given by this expression right. Now, you can think suppose if B were to be an exponential distribution what would have been this expression and that is what would come here and that is what we have derived it as the transient solution of MM infinity model. So, now for in general QT also this is what is true right. So, the equilibrium solution if you want then you can obtain it as T tends to infinity as T tends to infinity this quantity is given by this expression which is equal to lambda by mu and hence the equilibrium solution is Poisson with parameter lambda by mu. So, this is basically no matter whatever be the distribution of the service times the equilibrium number of number in the system in an mg infinity q is basically Poisson with the parameter lambda by mu where 1 by mu is basically the expectation of s the mean service time right. This is what we said it as the insensitivity to be but now you are actually seeing it here by this argument you are shown that you know this is actually the, uh, the property you have proved it now that is what you know you have seen. Now this is about the number in the system that is what one of the first uh, two results we said we will look at for mg infinity the first one is this. The second one is the distribution of the departure counting process the number of service completion that has happened by time t. Now, this can also be found using the argument which is similar to this, but now by but by using 1 minus q t where 1 minus q t is simply this quantity which is instead of q t now you have to consider this. So, the ultimately then finally you will get the result as number of departures being n by time t is given by this expression which is again Poisson non-homogeneous Poisson but with parameter lambda times 1 minus q t times t is what is the parameter that you are seeing. Again as t tends to infinity now you can see that your t q t tends to 0 here right q t tends to 0 and thus the inter departure process right is Poisson in steady state which is precisely the same as the arrival process that is what you are seeing it here. Okay. And with this what we are saying is that this MMC is the only MGC with Poisson output with C being a finite number of servers. Okay. So, this is basically is what we, we have Burke's theorem if you recall it is basically giving at that kind of result only right. So, basically MMC right is Poisson for any value of c that is what we said there. So, then mmc is the only mgc with Poisson output with c must be finite is the case where the output process remains as the input process is what you are looking at here. So, this derivation is much like the previous derivation that we have uh, obtained here that is what you know you can see. Okay. Now, that is about mg infinity model. Okay. Next what we will see is what we call this as the last system, but now the service duration for the last system is a generic uh, distribution rather than an exponential distribution. Right. Recall what we said for the MMCC model which is also called as Erlang's last system we obtained the steady state uh, distribution which was a truncated Poisson and we obtained what is called as Erlang's last formula or Erlang's B formula and we said that you know this formula is insensitive to the service time distribution right and that is what uh, you know we might see now how exactly that is happening. But again this is a sketch this is not a complete one. but one has to look at uh, the proper 
you know research papers for a complete one okay so this this is what we obtained as the equilibrium steady state size distribution for an mmcc model and we said that it is valid for mgcc independent of the form of the service type distribution and we said that this is what is erlang's law formula and we also know just from our just discussion just now that we had that this result extends to the case of mg infinity as we have seen just now where pn is this for any form of g because okay. now like for mm mgcc how and why this assertion is true we will try to sketch the proof okay it's not complete proof again but anyway we just want to see how exactly this is happening okay so this was uh, the argument that we have given of course erlang himself noticed that you know this is the case okay mgcc also this is what is going to be but there was no proof until say 1956 when uh, the complete proof was given fine now this is what is we want to see how that was the proof so for the case c is equal to 1 this is simple because now p not is basically 1 minus rho effective which is 1 minus p1 this is true for for any mg11 q and now since rho effective the effective utilization for this is basically this quantity so the required result is this right now like this is precisely what this expression is because now n is either 0 or 1 so when it is 1 it is simply lambda by mu my the sum sum is 1 plus lambda by mu when it is 0 this so this is exactly same as what we are looking for so this is so trivial for the single server case because this is anyway there are two stages it's very simple to find out here and because of this result p not is 1 minus rho effective so it's very easy to see that this is true for the single server case now for c greater than 1 case okay this formula whatever you know which is derived as the erlang's last formula is basically one can derive by a combination of uh, certain observations connecting the markov process reversibility and the product form solutions that's the idea okay now to define a mark so we know that you know this the system size here when you look at for an mgcc model they are not markovian by definition right that's what we know in this particular cases of any g based model mg or gm or whatever gg or anything of that's not the system sizes are not markovian by definition okay but then we need to define a markov process so what one does is that one uses certain number of here basically c number of supplementary variables to denote or to define a markov chain corresponding to this mgcc model so it's basically the supplementary variable technique is what is being used here to extract a markov process out of this non markov process so your original system state was simply the number in the system n but since that is not a markov process by definition so you expand that to some c plus 1 dimensional where this u1 u2 uc are the ordered service ages okay which is basically the completed it's not com completed service times so far and this is ranked from smallest to largest recognizing that you know u1 to uc minus 1 will be zero when the system is in n right if n is less than c then the remaining ones are all zero is what then you will note that here okay so here if you look at it because what this describes this describes in some sense that the number in the system then u1 u2 you are looking at you know your ordered service ages meaning that the ordered completed service times right so this means that uh, the smallest next smallest and so on and the, if there are some servers are free then basically that corresponding to that it will be 0 0 0 and so on okay then you will get here now this one what it tells you is that with respect to each server if there is a customer uh, who is getting currently being serviced by the corresponding server 
uh, what is the age of service is what is given here. Okay. Then once you, you give what is the you know completed service time, then one can determine the remaining service time because the total service time is according to the distribution B. Okay. This is given for each one of these servers. Right. Remember in MG1 model, the supplementary variable was the technique uh, to get Markov process out of this semi Markov process is basically you add the completed service time variable along with the number in the system, this pair was a Markov chain. So, here you need a C plus 1 dimensional Markov chain to describe the system which is a Markov. Now, here the future state is clearly function of only the current position uh, with change over infinite semi interval happening uh, uh, depending upon the fact that the instantaneous probability of service completion when the service age is u depends solely on u. So, hence the state vector together in n, n plus or c plus 1 dimensional is a Markovian process. If you take n alone it is not a Markov process right together only we are talking about this being a Markov process. So, this is what is the Markov process that you define for this MGCC model. Now, it turns out that this augmented process right n augmented with this completed service times with respect to the C server is a reversible Markov chain because this reversibility is in some way relevant if you talk about the output. So, a hint of this was evident in MG infinity where the output process was Poisson because the reversibility property was happening. Now, this reversibility property in turn what it gives us is the limiting joint distribution of this quantity has the proportional product form given by this expression. Okay. This is basically P n of u 1, u 2, u c is basically this product form where c is the proportional to a constant which is proportional to the 0 state probability. So, that this total probability when integrated over all u's it turns out to be 1 to make that what is happening is the, the normalization constant you can say. Okay. And since the system state is n, so u1, u2, u c minus n they are all 0 and c is the proportional constant proportional to 0 state probability, a n is the proportional to the probability that n servers are busy right, n servers are busy because that will make u1 to u c minus n as 0. So, and b u y is the service time distribution and thus this b bar u1 is basically 1 minus of b of u 1, u 2 and so on or u i is the probability that a service time is at least equal to u is what then this b bar u will give you. Now, this n factorial accounts for all of the rearrangement possible for the n order statistics within this corresponding to the n basis servers. Okay. So, because again you are using a property, but anyway we will not go get into the details here. Okay. So, this is what is the proportional form or product form solution is what we are much like uh, your Jackson network case that you are handling it here is also ex exactly those ideas are only were used here also. Okay. Now, using the boundary condition which is normal total condition is total probability is equal to 1 and the Poisson input assumption one can write this c to be this probability that is p n of uh, with state 0 0 0 is basically that u 1 u 2 the completed service times here. This would be same as as you can easily see that lambda times p n minus 1 times this and so on. So, effectively this will be uh, equal to lambda to the power n times p naught. Now, because the c is factors into this manner if you plug it in there and since we already know mu times b bar u is a legitimate pdf, this is the pdf of the residual service time. Okay. So, once you plug it that right lambda this c and uh, everything here, this one is basically this product form becomes the product of the marginal distributions, okay. the product of the marginal distribution each one of them independently integrate out to 1. So, thus the marginal system says probability function is given by 
this expression and once we establish this p n as this right because now what we are seeing we are integrating over all of this right u 1 u 2 u and so on. So, then you will arrive at this expression and now from which again p naught is simply this and hence p n is this as expected. Uh, again this is what we say we are saying that as the equilibrium system size probabilities for the case of MGCC model is what is given here. Again this is not a complete proof this H of the proof like how this is true I mean whether it what is the equations and how this is satisfies this because one has to write the Chapman Kolmogorov equation of this Markov process to see all these things right. So, and then like how this is true and so on is a bit you have to look into, but that is why we said that this is a sketch. So, the idea is this you define a Markov process, see to it that it is reversible because that is you are observing that it is a reversible property that gives rise to your product form solution where the product form is basically is a product form of distributions themselves and hence you will obtain this p and the number in the system very easily as this and that proves the equilibrium system size probabilities for MGCC model is also same as what one would obtain in the case of an MMCC model and hence the Erlang loss formula is also insensitive to the service time distribution is what you are seeing it here. Okay. This is for the MGCC model, this is all multi server models. Okay. Now, this is from MG1 we you know moved to M, MC models basically whether C is infinity or C is finite like we are looking at the multi server model. So, once we have this one MGCC model that we have here that the this incentive to choice of C means that this is what would be satisfied. Now, this result can also be uh, you know generalized to a case where you know you can ex tend from the Poisson process arrival to a pure birth arrival meaning that there is a state dependent arrival meaning that there is the birth rate or the arrival rate depends on the number in the system. So, to such generalization you know you can make still this will be true. Okay. Now, this is the summary of whatever the insensitivity results for MGCK models is what we are given here. In case of MGCC versus MMCC these are independent of the steady state probabilities as well as the output process are independent of the form of C uh, the distribution MG infinity and MM infinity again the same thing is true in MGC and MMC the output process is equal only if G is equal to M. Now, from MG 1 what about the other direction that we have taken which is basically the bulk and other stuff one can do, but again we are not going into the detail except that you know we will just highlight this particular Q which is MX G 1 Qs is bulk arrival Q. Now, apart from the other assumptions you assume that the batch size distribution has the P G of C of Z and has a mean of expectation of X. So, as we know in this particular case the total arrival process is a compound Poisson process with PGF given by this. Then with generally distributed service time if you follow the similar line along what we have done for an MG1 model one can follow in a similar way. If you obtain the PGF of the number of arrivals during a service time of the customer remember this KIs. Okay. And if I write this PGF, I know that we can write it in terms of the service time distribution. And it B star, B star of S is the Laplace Stilge transform of the service time distribution, and one can use that to write this. This we already seen it here. Okay. Now we also assume that for the stability of the single server Q, that utilization, which is now lambda time expectation of X divided by mu is less than 1, then the PGF of the number in the system at departure points in steady state is one can obtain it exactly following the same. You do not need to once you establish this then you know that pi is you know you can write in terms of k, k is this here this is what you get here. Remember the difference was that C of z here in the ordinary case when you do not have a bulk arrival this was lambda minus lambda z is what then you had here. right? 
that z is replaced by c of z in these two places that is all. So, everything you can follow you can obtain this. This is now the p k transform formula for this bulk input model. Okay. Bulk input model is very simple when you want to generalize from m g 1 to m x g 1. Right. We can simply follow this. Similarly, for bulk service also one can obtain certain results which is relatively easier, but it is not that complex. Okay. It is also possible to do that. Okay. So, that is we just highlight, but this is very easy. M x g 1 is along similar lines you can derive with this only changes that in this is what you know you change that you will get here and then you are done. So, you obtain the distribution and so on. So, that is all we have it for this semi Markovian cues of the type m g meaning Poisson arrivals, but generally distributed service type. This is what you know we have seen so far. We will end this discussion on this m g because one can go on with different variations being brought in uh, like you can introduce impatience and so on one can go on, but we are not going to do that. So, we will stop here with respect to uh, the discussion of this m g type models. Now, what we will take up next is basically the when the service is remained as Poisson, but the arrival process is general arrival process then how one can analyze that is a very briefly we will see that in the subsequent lecture. Okay. Thank you. Bye.